بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله الفاتحة لحضرة النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم آمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم المضبوطون أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كافه صاد كاف هيا عين صاد ذكر رحمة ربك عبده زكري ذكر رحمة ربك عبده زكريا أنادى ربه إذ نادى ربه بنه نداء خفيا ذكر رحمة ربك عبده زكريا إذ نادى ربه إذ نادى ربه نداء خفيا قال رب إني وهن العظم مني قال رب إني وهن العظم مني واشتعل الرأس شيبا قال رب إني وهن العظم مني واشتعل الرأس سشيبا ولم أكن بدعائك رب شقيا ولم أكن بدعائك رب شقيا ولم أكن بدعائك رب شقيا وإني خفت الموالي من ورائي وكانت امرأتي عاقلا فهب لي من لدنك وليا فهب لي من لدنك وليا يرثني ويرث من آل يعقوب يرثني ويرث من آل يعقوب 
يعقوب واجعله رب رضيا يا زكريا إنا نبشرك بغلام اسمه يحيى يا زكريا إنا نبشرك إنا نبشرك بغلام اسمه يحيى لم نجعل له من قبل سميا قال رب أنا يكون لي غلام قال رب أنا يكون لي غلام وكانت امرأتي عاقلا وقد بلغت من الكبر عتيا وقد بلغت من الكبر عتيا قال كذلك قال ربك هو علي هي قال كذلك قال ربك هو علي هين وقد خلقتك من قبل ولم تك شيئا قال رب اجعل لي آية قال آيتك ألا تكلم الناس قال آيتك ألا تكلم الناس ثلاث ليال فخرج على قومه من المحراب فخرج على قومه من المحراب فخرج على قومه من المحراب لاب فأوحى إليهم فأوحى إليهم أسبحوا فأوحى إليهم أسبحوا بحو بكرة وعشيا يا يحيى خذ الكتاب بقوة يا يحيى خذ الكتاب يا يحيى خذ الكتاب بقوة وآتيناه الحكم صبيا وحنانا من لدنا وحنانا من 
لدنا وحنانا من لدنا وزكاة وحنانا من لدنا وزكاة وكان تقيا وبرا بوالديه وبرا بوالديه ولم يكن جبارا شقيا وسلام عليه وسلام عليه يوم ولد وسلام 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 عليه يوم ولد ويوم يموت ويوم ويوم يبعث حيا صدق الله العظيم صدق الله العظيم وبلغ رسوله الكريم ونحن على ما قال ربنا وبلغ نبينا من الشاهدين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى اهل سيدنا محمد وعلى سيدنا يحيى وسيدنا زكريا والانبياء والمرسلين والصالحين مع عباد الله اجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we thank him for exposing us to his bounties for exposing us to the revelation exposing us to and giving us this opportunity to to be exposed to receive to welcome to hear and the beginning of the journey is hearing فإذا قرأ القرآن فاستمعوا له وأنصتوا لعلكم ترحمون and when the Quran is recited listen hear and listen and bring your heart fully so you may receive the rahmah so you may receive the great healing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put within these words by his grace Listen with your ears and listen with your heart and listen with your mind. Astami'u lahu wa ansitu. This is a kind, it is a kind of meditation in the Islamic religion which is listening to not any song of praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but actually to the revelation to the words to the very words that he has revealed to his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the same words that moved his heart that stirred his heart that
the same words that he has heard and listened to from the angel Gabriel and to try to connect beyond the time and space and try to connect to the revelation to the experience of revelation to the one this revelation was given to and to the one who revealed these words subhanahu wa ta'ala in the name of God the compassionate the merciful or again in the name of God the creator of relationships the creator of all relations and the one who relates to you the most in the name of the one who creates closeness and who defines what closeness is in the name of the engineer the one who is the this engineer of closeness and subtle closeness and the one who is closer to you than your own selves than your mother and father altogether in the name of the one who created love and the one who loves you the most ar-rahman ar-rahim كاف ها يا عين صاد كاف ها يا عين صاد five words in the reality they are five letters but the letters here are not connected the letters are disconnected so these are the names of the letters the letters are sounds if they are in a word they are sounds or voices but when they are disconnected like in English we say a B, C, we say H, but when you have a, when you have it inside the world, you don't say H. That has another thing. So there is the name of the letter, and there is the sound of the letter. So these are the names of three or of five letters in the Arabic language. They do not have a clear meaning according to the majority of people there is no let us say there is no there isn't unanimous opinion regarding these letters what are they they said they are they may be names of God they may be names of the Prophet Muhammad they may be names of the Quran they may be an intonation that to set some some tone for the heart for the feelings of the Prophet to receive this revelation they may be coming from another language like the Syrianic, Syriani language, which is the language of Abraham السلام, Many possibilities. But when we meditate and we listen and we allow the calf to be calf and we allow the ha to be ha, and we allow the ya to be ya and we allow the ayin to be ayin 
and we allow the sad to be sad when we allow these letters to permeate our beings when we allow our minds to receive the energy of these letters without jumping on the meaning when we allow our hearts to absorb the light coming in these letters without forcing them to convey a particular meaning maybe that's the wisdom behind giving us just a sound like that when we give you a sound that you know خلاص, I, I will attribute that sound to that meaning but now we have a sound it's very subtle in the uh, calf and for poets for musicians just keep saying calf 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 and what does that sound inspire you Hmm? For calligraphers, when you draw the letter calf, what that letter inspire you? The letter calf is like a kneeling mother protecting her child. Calf. It's like exactly a mother sitting on her, huh? on her knees. But she's not sitting like this, but she's actually sitting like this. She's sitting on her knees and leaning towards her baby to, huh? Leaning towards her child to protect her child. And that's actually calf. And the name of the letter calf is actually, has a meaning. There is a word in Arabic, there is a verb in Arabic called kafa. Yakfi, it means to suffice. So kaf, it's the energy of sufficiency. So my dear beloved Muhammad, this story that I'm, I, I am going to, to teach you, this story that I'm going to, to tell you about is a story of sufficiency, is a story of kifaya. There will be a story of sufficiency. There will be a story of hmm? being looked after. There is a story of protection here. There is a story of kifaya here. In this, in this surah, Ya Muhammad, my dear beloved Muhammad, you will learn about my attribute. You will learn you will see me, you will see how I could suffice my people. And I want you to take this key and I want you to realize that within yourself. And I want you to become sufficient to yourself to those who come and, and seek help. Seek my help through you. I want you to realize that quality of the protective mother kneeling and leaning towards her baby to, uh, to protect him from everything. Kaf ha. 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 And Sidi Ahsan was teaching you about breathing this morning. And breathing, when you breathe, uh, you go deep, and the deepest voice, the deepest sound that you can make is Ha. The deepest sound you can make with your heart, actually, we call it heart. And the heart starts with Ha. The deepest sound you can make. Is ha. 
in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Arabic and with the letter Ha which is the main letter in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when we want to talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there is a name the one you know within yourself and closer to you than your own self you say who it's who it's him hmm. ha. so there will be my dear beloved Muhammad I'm going to tell you a story of that's very deep that's very profound that will go and stir very deep feelings within you very deep emotions within you I'm going to tell you a story that will that will dig deep within your heart you need to breathe this story has lots of emotions is very uh, could you say charged with emotions emotionally charged yeah and also my dear beloved Muhammad I want you to know this quality about me I want you to know that I'm very profound I want you to I want to reveal some of these secrets to you through this text through this revelation and I want you to take this key and to keep working on this profoundness and in this on this depth to realize that quality in you to be able to carry that quality yourself yeah and when you hear the sound yeah 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 in Arabic when we want to call someone we say yeah it's like oh hmm? when we want to call it is yeah yeah it's a letter we use to call calling why do we call we call because we are in need we call because we are in need because we have a because we are in dire need for help when we need help we call for help so my dear beloved Muhammad this story that I, may, I am going to tell you this story that I'm going to recite to you is also a story of neediness it's a story of prayers it's a story of people who call upon God people who pray to God people who call for the help of God my dear beloved Muhammad I want to teach you and those who come after you the art of calling upon me and the art of seeking my help and the art of praying in this scripture in this revelation Ain 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 In Arabic the word the letter Ain is the first letter for the I we call it Ain as well and the source of water the spring of water we call it Ain as well and the essence of anything we call it Ain as well. The eye, the spring, and the essence. The eye, the spring, and the essence. Ain is the letter for Hakika, for the ultimate reality. And it is the first letter of the name of Sayyidina Isa, السلام, who in other languages, they call him Ainusir, 
the essence of the reality. Hmm. Hmm? Jesus, alayhi no. Isa, the essence of the reality. Ain is also the first letter of the word Aun. It means help or assistance. So my dear beloved Muhammad, in this story I want to nourish your soul with this meaning. And this is going to be a story of essence, of spring, of opening your eye, of reality, of realization, and of assistance. Sad. 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 It's called the letter of plenitude. It's called the letter of treasures. It's called the letter of plenitude. The shape of the letter Sad in Arabic is like a, the big belly. <laughs> it's also the letter of, when we talk about the belly, the belly is big, but also the form of the belly is big, but there is something inside. So my dear beloved Muhammad, I want to teach you about my secrets and I want to reveal my plenitude to you in this revelation. I want to give you the key for all of these meanings and I want you to realize all these meanings within you. Oh, love.